Hi everyone, Anthony for Before Diesel. Just wanted to give you some quick feedback on this product which we used on the Hilux. Um, just as a reminder, I just wanted to say um, the reason we used it, the Hilux 2013, it had a real smell. It had a smell when you turn the aircon on, you know that, you know, just had a smell. It was like, yeah, pretty unpleasant, but not the worst. And I went, you know what, my other cars don't have that. I'd love to get rid of it. Um, didn't really do much about it and someone told me they used a product that worked really well and this is that product okay so I got this at a good discount at Super Cheap Auto um, on our trade discount um, and we use it on the highlights we did a video on that so you can probably search up the video it's probably in the playlist our 2013 highlights because we've got a playlist for stuff like that so you can have a look and see what dramas we've been through what you know with the vehicles and what we've repaired so at the end of the day it has worked really well so what happened first so we had the bad smell so we did the spray watch the video i sprayed it in all sorts of different holes here there and the other because you know it gives you directions but you know i mean spray in the air uh in, and, and spray in the air inlet system i mean it's kind of a bit hard to do on some cars but anyway mate of mine who used it he put it up the drain hole and i just actually thought he told me that and I, went, eh, I sort of did a combination of what he said and what they said but when you think it through it's really good because it's the evaporator that you want to clean so get it in the drain hole it foams like crazy this stuff you don't have to use a whole can but it's not going to take if you spray a little bit out like in a drain tray or something like i did i go it's not going to take much to fill up the whole area where the evaporator is and that's all you want so anyway i went a bit crazy with it and one of the problems that i had from it yes there is problems from using it um, is switching between screen and feet and all that um, has was become very stiff and getting stuck. So the product obviously gets into places where it can cause some problems. It has seemed to improve. So I've, I went from a really bad smell to a really, this smell, the smell stayed for weeks, okay? So that's the first thing you would have put up with the smell for weeks, but don't worry, it's not gonna stay for more than quite a few weeks, I'll say. It depends how often you drive the vehicle, I guess. Um, but after a few weeks driving, it'll certainly be clear. Now, when I get in the vehicle, I don't smell anything. So I don't have this smell and I don't have the old bad smell, um, but I've learned a little bit in doing so, just doing another car at the moment. So I thought I'd tell you what we did. So we got the Commodore out, we put it up on the hoist, we found the drain hole, we accessed more to the point, the drain hole, stuck the tube, connected the can, shake it up, stuck it up there and gave it a really good spray. What do you reckon, Mitch? 10, 15, 20 seconds, something like that, yeah. A fair bit, but we still got heaps left in the can, probably enough to do two or three cars, maybe more. Some people are probably laughing, going, ah, we do 10 cars, mate, yeah. You know, maybe that's the case. It might be just like a can of CRC you don't use much. The Hilux, I wanted it really good, so I just emptied the whole can into it. It seemed to work, and that, I don't think it's a permanent problem that, but it did go on for a couple of months, actually, that um, getting stuck on screen or getting stuck on feed, or can't remember where it was getting stuck, so beware of that. But I think you're going to keep it a lower tide level by going in the drain hole. You're going to get your evaporator, the bottom of the box, everything you want to clean. Um, so we've just done that with the Commodore. We put up in the hoist, I've sprayed that amount in there. And then I said, what do you reckon, what do you reckon? We had a drain tray set up. And me and Mitch, we said, you know what? Let's back it out of the workshop, leave it outside, let it drain out there. Because they say let it sit for at least 30 minutes. That's what it said, didn't it? Yeah, at least 30 minutes, right? Uh, somewhere there anyway, you can read it. And then after that, they want you to run it, idle it for at least, what is it, 10 to 20 minutes or something like that, right? Uh, let it idle speed for 10 to 20 minutes. So, okay, so soon we'll be, we're about another 15, 20 minutes off. It's just draining out at the moment. Um, it's very strong smell in the car though. It's probably toxic. They don't want you to breathe it. So do it outside. Leave the car outside if you can. Leave the windows door. We've just got all the doors open, whatever. We've got plenty of room here. Um, it's just air and out. We'll let it sit there for at least half an hour, like it says. I just wanted to give you some feedback and let you know. So I was a bit concerned because this did give a really strong smell that didn't go away for weeks. It, I did have my uh, recirculate thing, but I went a bit crazy. You've got to watch that video. I sprayed it all over the joint, which I thought, oh, yeah, that's good. It'll just clean everything out anyway. You want that? 10-year-old Hilux that's been earth-moving and stinky, sweaty workers been in the vehicle, you know, really needed a good clean-out, if you know what I mean. So... Um, but it's worked really well, so I'm happy with it. Um, had another can here, because when I got it, I got two. So we've done the uh, Commodore now. I'll let you know how that goes, maybe in another video later on. And what's left of this can, I probably might even do the 120, just because I can. And uh, what else we got? Anyway, we'll work it out. Just a quick one to let you know.
we were happy with it. So something for you to do on your Christmas, New Year holidays. Happy days, everybody. Catch you later. See ya.